Gospel of John chapter 8 from verse 1 to 11. Jesus forgives the sin of a woman taken in adultery and rescues her from certain death at the hands of her accusers. Friends, one can imagine the satisfied chuckling of Jesus' opponent as they drag the woman caught in adultery through the streets of the town and thrust her before him for judgment. Now, they think they can entrap him in his own words. The judgment he would give must inevitably involve either a rejection of the law of Moses or of the authority of Rome. And either judgment would bear grave consequences for him. The Pharisees took no account of Jesus' reputation for showing preference for sinners by eating with them and with the despised tax collectors in Luke chapter 15 from verse 1 to 3. Jesus, on the other hand, knew the hypocritical zeal that prompted their actions and their questioning. Far from falling into their trap, Jesus used the occasion to demonstrate his desire for every sinner to experience merciful forgiveness, to be lifted up from the misery and hopelessness and sin occasions to the joy and peace that come from the Father's forgiveness. We are those sinners for whom God sent his Son, that we might not perish but have eternal life. We are the lost sheep whom the Good Shepherd leads beside still waters to rescue our souls. Perhaps in our blindness we do not see ourselves in this woman taken in adultery, but we must believe that every sin is an act of spiritual adultery. It is unfaithfulness to the God who loves us with an undivided love. Furthermore, every sin not only affects our relationship with God, but it also affects others, in that we are all members of the body of Christ. Our responsibility in sinning is indeed far-reaching. Friends, in this time of Lenten observance, we are particularly reminded of God's immeasurable love in sending His Son to shoulder the burden of our sin. Our response to God's desire for our salvation should be repentance for our sins and for all the sins we have committed. Friends, ask the Holy Spirit to help you prepare for Jesus' glorious resurrection by making a thorough examination of conscience. Make a sincere sacramental confession if you are a Catholic. Ask for grace to turn away from your sins. Be confident that God wants to lavish his love and forgiveness on us, just as he did on the adulterous woman. Let us pray. Jesus, have mercy on us. We are sinners. We love you, Lord, and we want to belong to you. Come and set us free from all that could harm us. Amen. Thank you, my dear friends, for listening. Hope you are keeping well. Do stay safe. God will see us through. God bless you.